afternoon folks, just got another beer review for you here. This is the Beer Jerk Beer number 149. It's by Black Sands Brewing Company and it's their Pacific Red Ale. 5% ABV, um, it's one of eight beers they make. You can definitely still get this. Um, beer Jerk has it for $8.42 for one of these 500ml bottles. Um, you can't buy it direct from the website and there's no retailer list in the bay. So you, if you're out of Auckland, I suspect you'd have to try one of the big online liquor companies. Website's pretty simple site, um, brief introduction to the brewery and a page on each beer, um, plus just a um, simple list of stockists. Um, not really a lot of help in finding the beer out of Auckland, although I guess uh, you could always give them, a, give them a ring or drop them an email. Um, been going a while, started in 2013 by three guys um, and they've been brewing as Black Sands in West Auckland since then and um, with a 600 litre capacity I suspect they're mainly supplying the um, the locals in West, in West Auckland so um, good luck to them and let's um, see what they reckon's in this one. It's a mixture of New Zealand and American Amarillo hops, crystal malts, roasted barley, it's all fermented using American Chico strain of yeast. And uh, as with all of their beers, none of them are filtered, pasteurised or chemically adulterated in any way. So um, nicely, um, nicely pure, I guess you could say. Let's um, get a little bit into a glass and see what they say we should be expecting. Pours a nice deep red with a nice um, slightly off-white finger-sized head. They say we should be expecting a fresh and hoppy fusion of spicy citrus New Zealand hops and the unmistakable floral and orange notes of American Amarillo. Amber red ales moderately bitter with a smooth malt base consisting of pale ale, crystal malts and roasted barley. They reckon it's the ideal everyday session beer. Obviously, the um, the classic red ale would not normally be a hoppy fusion of spicy citrus hops and American hops. So certainly, you're getting that mixture. It 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 smells on the nose as if someone's taken an IPA and a red ale and mixed them fifty fifty. And the first, the, the first impression you get when you taste it is quite a strong hop flavour, and then, and then the underlying malts. It's yeah. If if, if it's um, it, I'm not sure if it's the, if it's the hoppiness or. If it perhaps just is a little bit thin, it's. I'm. I'm. I was looking forward to trying a uh, a Pacific Red Ale because Red Ales are one of my one of my um, one of the beers I enjoy the most. But this, it it just doesn't have that smooth, malty richness that you'd expect from a Red Ale, and you don't get the clean. You don't get the clean zing of the, of the hops without that strong maltiness that you'd expect from an IPA. So, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed, really. Um, it's just a yeah, it's a, a bit of slightly stale, toasty bread. There's there's quite a lot of flavours going on there. But it's not really it's not really the the mixture I'm looking for. Um, yeah, I, I'd uh, if your ideal beer sounds like a mixture of um, of a red ale and um, and a sort of moderately hoppy IPA, then it might be right up your street. But unfortunately, it's not up mine. So there you go. Um, not uh, I'll, I'll give them a, I'll give them a ten out of twenty because it, at least it is fairly. Uh, Fairly true to, to to name. It's it's pretty much what they expect, um, other than the fact that 
certainly for me it's not the ideal everyday session beer and uh, I wouldn't be buying it again. So I hope you're enjoying what you're drinking a little bit more than I enjoyed the Black Sands Pacific Red Ale and we'll catch you again next time. Cheers.